Hi guys, Derek here. This is my 1959 Cadillac 4 door Series 62 flat top. We bought this car a couple years ago and the engine and transmission were basically on its last leg. So we decided to swap the engine with the LS Base LT engine. So we swapped the old 390 Cadillac with a uh, 2011 Chevy Silverado 5.3 Vortec which is basically a GM small block V8 fuel injected engine. Um, these engines are primarily used for the larger SUVs and trucks. It produces about 315 horsepower with 335 pound-feet of torque. And behind that is a 4LE 70 transmission. Um, the majority of this work was done by Mulinex Racing Engine in Simi Valley, California. They modified all the motor mounts and the drive shaft. It was a very, very tight fit. You know, as you can see, some places we have like an eighth of an inch in clearance. As you can see, we moved the coils to the fender wells with the MSD 8.5 plug wires. We also used adapters and modified the Cadillac 429 valve covers with the functional oil filler tube on the passenger side. We also installed a cold air intake which adds about four to six miles per gallon. Basically the density of cold air is much higher than the hot air so it brings more oxygen which results in more power. We also have a Holly Hooker cast iron exhaust manifold these manifolds are designed to hug closer to the engine block and smoother flow. On the other side, we have the vintage air compressor. Since the car was originally a C car, we're trying to use the original evaporator coil, which is located in the passenger side kick panel. The front drum brakes were converted to power discs with an automatic proportion valve. And underneath the car, we replaced all the shocks and the bushings. Let's take a look inside. So we gutted the interior. We're working on the door panels, the headliner, and the carpeting. We also stripped the dash. Those are all the parts. We're disassembling the dash and working on it. Let me start it up for you. All the gauges are fully functional. We converted the digital signals into analog signals so we can use our original gauge cluster. So, hooked up the linkage to the new transmission. Inside the trunk, as you can see, we have the dash, we have another steering wheel, we have all the parts, hoses, the clock, seat belts. And a lot more parts. Thank you for watching.